A question we get asked every day is how long does it take to cut shadow foam or how long does it take to cut a draw, something of that nature. So what we're going to do today is time exactly how long this takes to cut an easy peel. We're back! It's been six months, I think, since we last put a video on the channel, and we've been pretty busy here at Shadow Foam. Obviously, been a crazy year, uh, but we've kept busy throughout everything. We've been uh, setting up a new unit, but finally, we've got loads of projects lined up, so hopefully this is the first video of many, and we'll, we've got loads more to come. I'm here in our new reception waiting area, and uh, today's video is going to be organizing this roll cab here, which we've got as a signing in desk, and we want to make sure it's set up as a demonstration unit for anyone who pops along to Shadow Foam. So what we're going to do today is time exactly how long this takes to cut an easy peel. We've set up with pretty much a full standard toolkit from screwdrivers and T-handles and Allen keys to spanners, pliers, ratchet crimps there. We've got a few random items like a calculator. So we're going to do all seven drawers today and we're going to do them one after the other and we're going to time it to see how long it takes. Right, so we spent about half an hour just figuring out the layout for all six drawers. I reckon it's going to take two and a half, three hours probably to do all six drawers. So um, we're going to start the clock and if you want to leave a comment below how long do you think it's going to be, more or less, uh, and then yeah, we best get started. We've got a full set of spanners here from 6mm all the way up to 32mm. So we've had to split that across two drawers. And because these are quite long spanners, we've laid them out in the diagonal to try and maximise the space. So all I'm doing is holding the scalpel 90 degrees to the item and just using it like a pencil. There's no need to draw around the item. Some people like to do that and that's fine. Obviously with easy peel, we will have to factor in finger pulls which we'll do after we've cut all the tools in. We'll go back round and make sure we can get each tool out. The layout of a tool drawer is definitely something that's worth spending ta extra time on to try and make sure you're using up every little quirky space, but also maintaining nice, neat categories. You want to be able to find everything easily so you're not sacrificing organization for the look. Okay, so that's everything cut in now. So I can just start peeling back the foam. Right, so to peel it, all we do is find the edge of the cut that we've made and push our fingers down the end like that. And then just work the foam back, just following the peel all the way along. And that way we're not tearing it and we can maintain the depth all the way along so we just follow the peel like that we don't want it to peel too easy because it will just fall apart over time if we did that so we do have to give it a little bit of force right so that's the line of finish in eight minutes 30 but it's not finished quite yet we do need to put in some finger pulls so we'll pull all these spanners out so we're going to put one finger pull right across the middle of these and that's one of the reasons why we went for this style. So, something like that. And we'll do it on the other side. Peel these out. On the side. That's the first liner fully done. I'm happy with that, and that's up 12 minutes. That's pretty good going. On to the next one. We 
with something like this, a screwdriver or these are nut spinners, because we've got um, the blade of the, uh, the nut spinners much thinner than the handle, what we do is we cut around the handle first, just following the outline, follow, following the silhouette, and then we take the nut spinner away. And that gives us the, pro, the outline of the, of the handle. And then what, we do, what I do, or what, what I'd recommend to do, is cut around the handle first and remove that piece. And the reason being then, is that the handle will sit flatter down in the foam. And then when you come to cut around the blade of the nut spinner, we can get it nice and square with the other nut spinners. We don't have that, what I'd call a parallax error, which is, you know, something's floating above. Um, the potentially the scalpel could drift away and that's the quick way to do a knot spinner so you can see we're getting on quite well with this draw what are we looking at Nathan's the time we are on 31 minutes now 31 minutes wow not, not looking bad I think a two hour guesstimate two and a half hour guesstimate is uh, looking possible Draws. Surprised me. Right, we're getting there. We're on the last couple of items on the last draw, and I think we've done well for time. We've um, we've made sure that we've done finger pulls on every insert, and we've made sure not to leave any spaces in the drawer. So I have had to actually run and get more tools because we managed to fit more in the box than we had anticipated. I'll tell you what, my estimate of two and a half hours looks like it might be to the minute. I think the only thing I'm going to add, quickly, finger pull, and we'll add a finger pull. Look at that, I've got two minutes. Right, so, all done, all six draws done in two hours, 28 minutes, 32 seconds. So, you look at an average of about 25 minutes per draw. Um, we did it with 12 blades, so about two blades per draw. So I think that's pretty good going. It's exactly pretty much what I guess two out two and a half hours, which I'm surprised about. So it's time I think to go and put these in the uh, in the roll cab and see what it looks like. Right, so let's get all these in here. So I think we go for big spanners. Now these drawers are a tight fit because they've got like a lip on the front, so they will take a bit of squeezing in. But that means once they're in, there's no gap down the sides or the front. We'll go set one up for this. And then we've got cables underneath the meters. We didn't want to skip out awkward items with cables. So the two top drawers are thinner. That's what we put the we set up the 30 mil inserts for. And the other four drawers are deep, so that's what we put the 50 mil. Bottom drawer, hammer drawer. And that full toolbox organized. We've got a really wide mix of brands. We've got Sealy's Premier uh, Mechanical Screwdriver set and we've got Premier uh, Sealy's Hex Key set. We've got some PB Swiss stubby screwdrivers. We've got a Baco Ratchet stubby, Brittle. This is our Aldi set of spanners, an absolute bargain. We've got some weir nut spinners. These are Draper Expert Ratchet spanners. This is a good representation of a standard toolkit. You've got pretty much everything in here.
Right, well, I'm pretty happy with that. I hope you are. I think we've answered the question, how long it takes to cut Easy Peel. If you've got any questions, put them in the comments below. And if you've got any ideas, what you'd like to see or what toolbox you'd like us to see organized. Um, and if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel because we haven't had any videos for a few months, but we've got loads of videos planned and we're going to be having videos live every two weeks now moving forward. Uh, and the next toolbox is going to be twice as big as this one. So stay tuned.